Well, today on The Boiling Point, on part two, we continue with Jude Wolf in our Hey Jude segment and how the flame safeguard communicates with the mod motor. Just as I physically jump with wires, the R, B, and W terminals, the flame safeguard is doing the same thing with its internal contacts. The R terminal from the mod motor is connected to the common terminal of the flame safeguard. So when the flame safeguard calls for purge, it simply jumps or closes this contact to drive the motor to the high fire position. It does the same thing for low, jumping the common to the low fire position. This is going to cause the mod motor to drive up for purge and back down for light off like we need to for a safe cycle. Once we've lit off the burner and we're in low fire, the flame safeguard has no way of knowing what firing rate is required by the steam load. So how do we determine that and position the mod motor from there? Once we've lit the burner and we release the burner to modulate, the flame safeguard control jumps the common or R terminal to its modulate output terminal. That goes to our firing rate control. Now our firing rate control can respond to changes in pressure. As pressure drops on the system, it moves the potentiometer closer to the B terminal. That B terminal gets connected to the mod motor. When the mod motor R terminal is jumper to the firing rate control, now the pressure affects the proportion of the connection to the B, the high fire terminal, or the W, the low fire terminal, and it modulates the firing rate according to the pressure input. So as pressure drops, we get more of an inclination to the B terminal and the mod motor drives more to the high fire position. As the pressure increases, the slide wire moves the opposite direction to the low fire terminal and that forces the mod motor to drive back down to a lower firing rate. And that's a basic automatic firing rate control. This is just an introduction to the integration between the flame safeguard and the mod motor. We can make this much more useful and also complex by adding auto manual selectors, um, low fire hold, other functions that can add functionality to the boiler uh, and make it easier to operate in the long run. Well, that's a very basic introduction of how the flame safeguard communicates with the mod motor. Make sure you check out our website and see Boiler University and maybe pick out some dates where you can attend with Jude to go a little bit more in depth. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you like the video, share them. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.